we're going to write an equation for a rational function. And one of the most important things to remember about rational functions is that you have x-intercepts in the numerator. Let me get a reasonable pen. Divided by your vertical asymptotes. And you can have a uh, numerical factor in the front. I usually use letter A. And let's go ahead and figure out, they tell us right here, x-intercepts. So we'll write them out first. So we have x equals negative three. Now that corresponds to the factor x plus three. And one of the best ways to remember that is negative three is the value that turns that into zero. The other one is x equals six, and that corresponds to x minus six. Now we have vertical asymptotes. x equals four, and that corresponds to x minus four. And we have x equals five, and that corresponds to x minus five. There's no information about crossing and bouncing, so we're gonna assume all the uh, powers or multiplicities are one. And the last is the y-intercept. And what we're gonna do with this is just wait until the very end. So that means that when we write this function, let's call it f of x. Can write a better f than that. Y intercept means when you take a zero and f it, you're gonna get four as your y value. All right, so let's go ahead and construct our function. The x intercepts are in the numerator. When I said the power is one, the exponent will be one here. The other one is x minus six. Denominator is where your asymptotes are. So we're almost done, except there is a number out front we need to figure out. And the way we're gonna do that, so we've used our x-intercepts, we've used our vertical asymptotes, we're about to use the y-intercept here. So what is f of zero? Zero plus three, zero minus six, zero minus four, zero minus five. Uh, there's not much reduction you can do here. Three times negative six is negative 18. There's, both of these are even, so we'll uh, cancel out a two here. So this we get negative 18 over 20, and the y value is four, so that's what this equals. Negative 18 over 20, can be reduced to nine tenths. Just cut each of those numbers in half. They're both even. And we're almost done. We're gonna multiply by the reciprocal of nine tenths, which is 10 ninths, negative 10 ninths, times four equals A. And we can distribute the four into there. We get 40 ninths, negative 40 ninths is A. And so all we're gonna do is just put all this back in with that value in for A. We'll write our answer over here, negative 40 ninths. And just copying what's to the right, x plus three, x minus six divided by x minus four, x minus five. All right, and this is our answer right here, hopefully. We're about to see. We look here, we see our x-intercepts in the numerator, x plus three, x minus six. Denominator, vertical asymptotes, x minus four, x minus five, and here we go. Our leading coefficient is negative 40 ninths. So that is how you can reconstruct this function based on vertical asymptotes, x-intercepts, and the y-intercept.